hello everyone out there in YouTube land. It is a beautiful late spring morning. We're all off to work. And I thought I'd make a video because it's been quite some time. I had no idea when I started my project last year that, um, well, it's like anything, that people would actually watch the videos. But it turns out people actually watch the videos. And so I've had some comments in there and questions and people asking me what, uh, what happened with the project? Well, it turns out in the end, and if you've read the comments, then you'll know. <coughs> in the end, my father-in-law decided that it might be a good idea to get a larger boat. And it was a, an opportune time before vacation. Um, and knowing that we were about to put a lot of time and effort into fixing up the old boat, so, um, with about two weeks before the vacation last year, uh, which was probably the last shot video, I don't even know if all the footage made it on to the um, YouTube channel, um, we shifted focus and started looking for something a little larger. So the old boat was a 14 and a half foot Sunray four-seater and it had 55 horsepower on the back Suzuki engine um, what we ended up finding was a 1998 Bayliner Capri 1850 SE with uh, the inboard or cruiser 4.3 and which I believe has 190 horsepower fantastic engine and and out drive and the boat runs really really well but during the um, fall and into the winter um, because I started watching all these YouTube videos about you know fiberglass it all started with fiberglass repair you know you end up basically hitting the, the page um, boatworks page because he's the, he's kind of the, the god of fiberglass repair. Um, but one thing led to another. So you, you, you see what, you know, what his favorite channels are and what other people are referencing his channel and whatnot. And it sort of snowballed into this. I was going to say fetish. That's not the right word. Uh, obsession and that's more accurate of uh, these sailing videos ended up becoming a follower of channels like Gone with the Winds uh, watched their transition from RVing to sailing and then SV Delos and Sailing La Vagabond and the list goes on and on there's about 40 channels that I subscribe to um, so that kind of leads us to, um, a project my wife and I are calling the 10 year plan. And it's interesting because we, it's easy when you live in Canada, when you live in Montreal, it's easy when you live in Canada to, um, romanticize and um, dream about sunny sunny locations and warm warm vacations and being out of the snow and the cold um, when it's minus 30 here um, and I was kind of thinking to myself well what, what, what am I gonna think about this plan when it ends up being plus 30. Well, we're almost there. A couple of days ago, it was plus 28. But that's 
you know, I think that's just over 80, maybe mid 80s Fahrenheit. Because all of a sudden, now I can get out on the boat. I don't necessarily, you know, I'm not sitting at home all the time watching YouTube videos about other people on their boats. So, is it enough? You know, summer on the boat, putzing around Montreal, we've got a lot of rivers, a lot of lakes, lots of places to go. Um, but I still go back to those YouTube videos and I still think about what it would be like to not, no, let's say the other way, what it would be like to be doing it full time. And that's what the 10 year plan is. So the idea is, by the time um, the kids are of an age where they can make a decision uh, on whether or not they want to join us or stay back on their own because they'll, they should both be maybe in university, just finished university by that point. Um, right now they both say they would like to come because we've talked about it as a family. Um, but it's amazing what a few years difference will do and maybe relationships and other things when they get older, what that might do. So we'll have to, we'll have to wait and see. Um, so like I said, the 10 year plan and, and it only makes sense in my view in today's day and age to, um, consider sailing if you're going to be either, well, if you're going to be doing it full time, if you're filthy rich, um, perhaps spending money on fuel. Um, is, uh, is not a huge consideration, but if you want to cover any distance, I think that it makes sense that you should consider sailing at least. So what does that mean? Um, got to be honest, my wife and I know this much less than nothing about sailing. We have very little experience. I've been out on a buddy's sailboat a couple of times. Um, guy I used to work with, um, and that was a lot of fun. Um, but it was before, I, I, I guess I didn't have the same, the same mentality about it. It was, it was a fun outing that we went out and it was a social event and, you know, uh, an evening cruise around Lake St. Louis, which is the south side of the West Island of Montreal. Yeah. So as I was saying before, I got cut off because I received a phone call while I was recording the first half of this video. Um, we have a lot of learning to do. It's a 10 year plan, like I said, because of the, uh, uh, well, a number of things. I think the, 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 the learning about the, the kids, the the, the tr giving the kids the choice of what they want to do and, and not necessarily bringing them with us. That's kind of why we label it a 10 year plan. It doesn't mean that it's definitely going to take 10 years. Um, four years, you never know. We could decide, boom, that's it. Could be uh, that it takes 15 years before we can think we, uh, we can afford this some cool um, channels out there with different strategies on you know how to get into the, the game some younger couples who who have done this I, I love the the adage that sailing Uma gives which is you know don't buy a couch the, the, the thinking is you know you buy a couch you're, you're putting down roots you're going to have to have somewhere to put that couch and you're going to end up sitting on that couch and never executing the plan. Well, we're we're far beyond that. We have a house in the burbs and we have many couches. <laughs> so, um, I think the the first steps for us are going to be to get on a sailboat. I think we've already established uh, with my wife and I that we we love being on the water. 
um, just, you know, like I was saying, the, the springtime and the, the, the freedom to be able to get on our small runabout and, you know, hit the water around Montreal and visit different parts and of, the, of the city. Uh, we met a, a really cool couple who were doing the, I think they call it the Grand Loop or the Big Loop, which is, you know, Florida all the way up to Canada through uh, through New York, the intercoastal to New York and up through Lake Champlain, down the St. Lawrence, heading up towards Ottawa and maybe down the Rideau Canal and through Trent Severn uh, into the Great Lakes and down to the Great Lakes and to come out to the Gulf of Mexico eventually and around about Florida again. And um, we had a really, really nice chat with them in one of the locks near Montreal called the Carillon Locks, which um, are sort of at the border of Quebec and Ontario when we were taking a day trip from the west end of Montreal up to Montebello, which is along the way to Ottawa. Um, sounds like a fantastic, it's a fantastic idea. They're, they're able to do it sort of in a hybrid where they, they go for several months and then they can stop and spend some time with their grandkids and whatnot. Um, to be able to be on the boat full time and I mean, the, the short term dream is to get down to the Caribbean and spend <clears throat> your time whiling away around, around the Caribbean, different islands and experiencing all of that. <coughs> and who knows, that could lead to something bigger, could lead to circumnavigation and doing something like SV Dallas is doing and La Vagabond and the winds who are now in the in the Pacific in French Polynesia. So I think the next steps for us are to um, bring the family into the videos and introduce my kids and my wife and what it means to them. And um, get their feeling on it. And hopefully they're honest in the videos and, and, and can share their, their concerns and their, their hopes about it so that um, we're sharing useful information. Because um, a lot of the videos, a lot of the series that you find on YouTube start in and around the time when the couple or the family has decided to take the plunge and they've either um, started the process of, of buying a, um, a sailboat or they've um, already bought the sailboat and they're, they're on their adventure. Um, and that offers a great deal of information and, and help and going through that process, but it's hard to find videos of, of people who are um, at the point where we are really, really, really early in the process. So I thought that it would be uh, it'd be interesting to document that, if not for for anybody else, but for ourselves um, to maybe go back and look at what we were thinking when we started. And what led us to the decisions that we make? Um, ultimately, in the, the success of the dream or the the decision not to follow through for whatever reason? I think that would be um, useful for other people to to look through and um, consider the things that we consider through the process. So. Um, we'll try and share some of the, the, the fun things along the way and, and 
you know, maybe some of the adventures that we take on our on our small boat around the the island of Montreal and the reasons why we like to be on the water and, and, and are trying to pursue this dream. Um, so it's not all videos of me driving to and from work talking to the camera. So I don't have, I don't think I have enough um, of a plan for the YouTube channel yet to say that we're going to be able to provide weekly updates or monthly updates. It's going to be sporadic, I think, at the beginning. And we're going to try and let this series grow organically and, and see if it's if it's something that, that takes off and provides useful um, or not. So it's sort of one step at a time right now. I think we're advancing, but we're going to advance cautiously and bring you guys along for the ride. So onwards and upwards, I want to thank you for taking the time to um, join us on the, the shift from what I was doing with the repair of the old boat to what we're, we're about to embark on. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up because I think it really means means more to me than than it even used to. You know, some of those videos that I made have, you know, five, 6,000 views, which is really, really cool. Um, but I don't think I had any doubt in my mind before that those videos had some use and, and, and people who were going to be doing a repair to their small craft would be able to hop on there and, you know, oh, look at, the, you know, this guy was going to replace his transom with a certain product and, and you know, those, those pieces of information, those references are always good. This is completely, this is a whole new ball game and, and not where I was going before. So um, feel free to leave comments below and I'm going to try and keep on top of them and, and uh, listen to what, what people have to say. It's way more of a deep thoughts kind of situation than the other videos. So thanks for tuning in. Give us a thumbs up make comments let's chat about it and uh hopefully uh, we're not too slow with videos we'll bring the updates as we go through it thanks very much